want a fully public new Maitland hospital and we want it now. Come down to Parliament today on the bus to hear our petition be heard in Parliament. I have not heard one person come out and say that this is a good idea and that is what we need to get through to this minister today. We've been promised that they will start to build our hospital by the end of this year, but it will be a private not-for-profit hospital, it won't be a public hospital. I did actually initially uh, look at the public-private partnership model, because that's what I've got in my area, and everybody absolutely loves it because it's produced a much bigger hospital. They can't tell us what services will be um, provided. They can't tell us what jobs will be there or how many beds there will be for the public. They cannot give us any of those ratios. They can't tell us pathology and everything, what will happen with those. Will they come across or will they be sent out to private organisations? The government keep telling us um, we, that they have major consultation with the community, with the nurses. I've been up to your hospital, I've spoken to your staff, I've, con I've conveyed to them my concerns to make sure their conditions are looked after and they have the right to come back after a year if they don't like working in the system. I've, I've worked at Maitland Hospital for many, many years and I've never been consulted. None of my colleagues have ever been consulted. I think that they want us to believe that it's like the um, Calvary Martyr at Waratah, which is a really good system, but it's not going to be like that at all. This is not the same. This is a contract, a failed model, like what they had in Port Macquarie. Those operators in, call themselves not-for-profit or whatever, they go into these uh, services in order to make a profit. What is going to happen here is you are going to have a brand new hospital, brand new building, brand new operating theatres, but you're going to have staff paid less conditions, um, have their superannuation in jeopardy, compared to John Hunter Hospital down the road. You know, no jobs are guaranteed. They've told us if we go across, our conditions will be okay for two years. After that, we're on our own. Not good enough. There's a big concern about nurse-patient ratios um, because private not-for-profit don't work under the award. There's no skill mix ratio either. You've just got to look at aged care. I go to those facilities and I can see that they're understaffed. One by one we've been knocking this over. In places like Wyong, in places like uh, Goulburn and Bowral, the government's had to surrender. And it is critical for all of you here today to continue that fight. But we're out there saying, please question them, please fight them, ask for the answers. We want to know and we want to keep our hospital public. we just got to keep going and keep getting the word out there.